stuck between principles of money. Has and Meg are put in an awkward position of picking Spotify money. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been put in an awkward position of picking between principles or money following their Spotify misinformation row, with a royal expert adding Joe Rogan had won amid the fallout. Royal commentator Richard Eden discussed the latest Spotify row with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after the platform came under fire for COVID-19 misinformation claims. But Mr. Eden noted that while Prince Harry was a strong campaigner against misinformation, his decision not to pull out of his deal with the streaming giant showed he picked money over principles in his view. Mr. Eden then discussed the work ethic of Joe Rogan who works on hundreds of podcasts with a small team and wondered if paying the Sussexes millions was truly value for money. Speaking on Mail Plus Palace Confidential Mr. Eden shared his thoughts on the Spotify row and believed the Sussexes has been put in a tough position. He said, well, this is a nightmare for Harry and Meghan because for years they've gone on about the dangers of misinformation. It's become a real sort of pet cause of theirs, I think Harry's even become a commissioner, of the Aspen Institute's new commission on information disorder, or something like that. And then here they are with Spotify, accused of spreading misinformation through Joe Rogan's very popular podcast, but they've signed a very lucrative deal with Spotify. Which is meant to be worth £18 million or something. So between the principles and money, it's always a question of which will they go for and seems they've gone for the money. They put out a rather sort of mealy-mouthed statement about the dangers of misinformation but they've made clear they're sticking with Spotify. So it looks like sort of Joe Rogan's one really. Mail on Sunday's Charlotte Griffiths was also on the show and believed the Sussexes would not hand the money back in the future but had heard there were technical issues behind the scenes which explained why the couple has not created podcasts. Mr. Eden remarked Joe Rogan was a really hard worker and created hundreds of podcasts every year. But the royal expert added, my goodness, We've only had one from Harry and Meghan for £18 million so they're hardly providing value for money. The panel also joked that Joe Rogan should ask for a pay raise. Spotify has been hit with huge criticisms from celebrities and respected scientific figures to crack down on COVID misinformation being spread on Joe Rogan's podcast. Joe Rogan addressed the criticisms head-on in a video and said the people he invites on had strong credentials and that he wanted to offer an alternative view to the mainstream narrative. The podcaster said he would try to make amends and invite people on to offer criticisms of guests to be more balanced. Despite this, musicians Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, and Nils Lofgren demanded their music be taken off the platform in protest. Prince Harry and Meghan released a statement addressing the misinformation concerns. It read, Since the inception of Artuel, we have worked to address the real-time global misinformation crisis. Hundreds of millions of people are affected by the serious harms of mis- and disinformation every day. Last April, our co-founders began expressing concerns to our partners at Spotify about the all-too-real consequences of COVID misinformation on its platform. We have continued to express our concerns to Spotify to ensure changes to its platform are made to help address this public health crisis. We look to Spotify to meet this moment and are committed to continuing our work together as it does. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex certainly have a knack for keeping to the spotlight, especially in recent times. Amid allegations of bullying in the palace from Meghan Markle as well as harsh criticism from the British press, the famous couple announced they would be stepping away from the royal family and their duties in early 2020. Following their groundbreaking decision, the couple sat down in a now infamous interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021, when Meghan said there were conversations about how dark, her son's, skin might be when he's born, amid other shocking claims via CBS News. Since then, the two have remained a steady presence in headlines. The two